Hey guys, it's your girl Nita, and welcome back to my channel. And you know what day it is today? It's Monday. But more specifically, it's Makeup Monday. So, let's get on into talking about some makeup. I'm going to talk to you guys about my favorite liquid lipsticks. And upon gathering my liquid lipsticks, I realized that the majority of them come from one brand. So I just said, to hell with it. I'm just going to talk about that one brand because they're pretty awesome. And that one brand is NYX. And I love NYX so much. They're, I guess they're considered a drugstore brand because all of their items are anywhere in that $20 and under range. You're not usually going to find an item in that side of Ulta looking for, you know, in the NYX aisle for above $20. Um, it's not like an Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's not like a Tarte or an Urban Decay. Like, those are high-end brands where you got makeup palettes that cost fucking like $50. And I'm like, what? What? I digress. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I love NYX. I love NYX so much, especially their soft matte lip creams. This is one of the ones I have. And this is in the color Copenhagen. And that's what it looks like. And these swatch. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love this color. It's such a pretty wine. Now, it is a soft matte lip cream. So it will dry it on matte, but it's going to feel very, very comfortable on the lip. And it is going to transfer. So, you know, it is what it is. But for, I believe these are about five and change, $5.49, somewhere in that five to six dollar area not a bad buy and they actually do last pretty long uh i went out i always whenever i go out i usually end up wearing one of these or whatever and um they last through eating and drinking i do have to reapply if i'm feeling fancy but these joints are good i also have it having the color amsterdam Let's swatch that up for y'all uh -huh. if i could figure out yeah and amsterdam's like a little red God, my camera does not show you the true beauty that is Amsterdam. I don't really wear this color as much. I bought this thinking, yeah, red lipstick. I'm going to do it. And then that didn't happen. I, I've worn this. I mostly mix it as an ombre lip with my favorite one, which is Copenhagen. Oh, not Copenhagen. Transylvania. Transylvania is so good. Let me tell you something. Y'all you gonna learn that I am a dark lipstick junkie. Okay? <sighs> Look at that. Yes. Yes. I am a dark lipstick junkie. Look, look at my awful swatching. Look at this. Look at this awful. <sighs> Don't worry, y'all. Don't worry, y'all. God's not done with me. He's still working on me. I'll get there. But, um, yeah, these joints are... I, I got two to Transylvania's because I hate to run out um these are just really affordable they're so comfortable and what I like to do is I like to wear a little bit of concealer on my lips before I put on my lipstick so that way not only does it keep them from staining which these don't these don't stain thankfully enough because I've had two liquid lipsticks stain and that was Colourpop in Bedazzled which I love it. That's a great liquid lipstick. Amazing formula. Another company that sells great liquid lipsticks for an amazing price. But it stained. It stained the hell out of my lips. And Makeup Monsters Original Formula of Tyranny. And that's another great company. It's an indie company that now they're famous now. And they've repackaged and the prices of their lipsticks have gone up just a tad. But <sighs> they're still a great lipstick. And that one stained. But, you know, nothing a little coconut oil or a little... um makeup remover can't budge off after some vigorous rubbing so yeah but NYX NYX is always my fave because I don't have to work that hard to get the lipstick off and it doesn't stain uh the next one is their liquid suede lipstick collection I have seven of these okay I have seven of these don't ask me how I managed because I I picked these joints up and was like, how did I end up with so many of y'all? But these are so good. They dry so pretty. Um, 
they just revamped with a whole new shade range. They've got a black now, which I was like, hell yeah, because I was going to have to take my ass on over to Colored Rain and buy me a black, because um, I know their liquid lipsticks are apparently bomb as hell, too. They've got this great, great blue, which I didn't think this was, I'm telling you, NYX was, look at that, yes, oh my gosh, NYX just, they pulled the illest, like, hell yeah for me with these liquid lipsticks, and I got a gray the, this suede collection legitimately just threw me out my box of normally buying dark reds and purples. That's what this did. Look at this. Look at that. These do dry down matte. Um, it does take a little minute for them to dry, though. That's the only thing I don't like about them is that it does take a little minute to dry down matte. And here's here's my favorite one it is in the shade what is this soft spoken this is my go-to nude y'all my go-to i just put this on and some chestnut lip liner by mac and it's a done deal oh yes hell yeah this is just they just wear so comfortably and i, I can't say enough these and these joints are like six something they're like 6.99 look at that purple i had promised myself i wouldn't buy a purple but the gray one is called stone fox and the one i initially bought at ulta the applicator broke um i twisted open the bottle pulled it out and that ish was not there so i took it back and exchanged it and i was like well since i'm here i might as well pick up another one so i ended up with purple uh, I literally waited six months to finally get my hands on Vintage. And I think Vintage is the only one that really disappointed me in this. Because once I got it on my lips, it did not look as good as the rest of them on me. Major disappointment. And there's here's, and here's one that I know for a fact I will not be wearing standalone anytime soon. And that is in the shade Tea and Cookies. Because look how crazy that look. I... Look, every time I put this damn thing on my lips by itself, it is a no-go. So let me let me list these for you from top to bottom, okay? This very first one is Alien. And this blue one is Jet Set, Stone Fox, Soft Spoken, Amethyst is this purple one, Vintage, and Tea and Cookies. And that's the seven that I have. And these joints are good. They don't have that sweet smell like the soft matte lip creams, but these dry so great. They're not sticky. The only liquid lipstick from NYX, well, the only other liquid lipstick from NYX that dries sticky is their lip lingeries. And I don't know if I got a bad tube or what, but I got it and it was just, I got it in Teddy and it was a no-go. Put it on the lips and that is dried got sticky and then it started to crumble it was it was a mess within minutes and i was like no 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 took it back and uh ended up getting me something else i don't even remember what the hell i exchanged it for but yes look at these oh yes the only two that are a disappointment are legitimately just vintage and tea and cookies but that's just a shade thing the formulas are still really great um, I could totally overlook the shade issue, mix them with something else. I can definitely see myself mixing vintage with a darker red or, you know, maybe a lighter red and see what I get from there. Um, anything that'll make it worth it because I've had it for a little while and I cannot return it. No, I can't return it. And you girl's trying to get her money worth, okay? So if you're ever in Ulta, Definitely wander down the NYX aisle and definitely if you're able to get some swatches because these are good uh, Jet Set and Alien are part of the relaunch with the brand new colors and they have a lot of awesome ones. Oh I can't wait. I know I'm gonna go back and get more. I shouldn't get more because I don't need any more. I have seven I have seven. I don't need any more but I'm gonna go back and buy some more because yeah, you girls are makeup junkie. So yeah. But that's just my little one brand review of the liquid lipsticks. At least the majority of liquid lipsticks that I have that are of the NYX persuasion. So yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Join me again for another Makeup Monday. I'll probably be talking about another product or another company. I don't know. I have a lot of NYX stuff. So you might, you guys going to see a lot of NYX uh, reviews and a lot of NYX 
everything for a little while because NYX is just bomb. They bomb as hell. Go get you some NYX. Get you some NYX, okay? So um, if you guys have any products that you would like for me to review and try out, please let me know down in the comment section. I am not above being your guinea pig yet your guinea pig by any means. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. La ya! I know I'm the shit, tell him to go and say it. I know I can spit, tell him to go and spray it.